G'day, welcome to another Curriculum Burst. Here's a question for middle schoolers. It goes as follows. A whole number larger than 2 leaves a remainder of 2 when divided by each of the numbers 3, 4, 5 and 6. Hang on, let me take that in. So I've got a number that's bigger than 2, divide it by 3, get a remainder of 2. Divide it by 4, get a remainder of 2. Get it by, divide it by 5, remainder of 2. Divide it by 6, remainder of 2. Lots of 2's in this. The smallest such number lies between which two numbers? A between 14 and 49, B between 60 and 79, and so on. We've got all these ranges of numbers. All right. So we've got a number that leaves a remainder of two when divided by each of three, four, five, and six. I basically want to find the smallest, yeah, the smallest of such numbers. Okay, can I do it? Hmm. Leaves a remainder of two when divided by three. That means it's got to be like, it's, okay, it's got to be a multiple of three plus an extra two. So, first of all, it could be, well, it won't be three, but it'd be two more than three, which is five. Or it could be two more than six, which is eight. Or it could be two more than nine, which is 12. Um, so 11, sorry, silly me. Two more than 12, which is uh, 14, and so on. So it's got to be one of these numbers. So upon division by three, it leaves a remainder of two, so it's two more than multiple three. Um, also, upon division by 4, it leaves a remainder of 2, so it can't be 4, but it's be 6, or um, 2 more than 8, which is 10, or 2 more than 12, which is 40, and so on. Uh, 3, 4, 5, same thing for 5, got to be 2 more than multiple 5, so that's 7, or 2 more than 10 is 12, or 2 more than um, 15, which is 17, and so on. And divisible by 6, uh, 2 more than 6, which is 8, 2 more than 12, which is 14, 2 more than 18, which is 20, and so on. So I know it's a number in this list, and in this list, and in this list, and in this list. Great! So what I could do is just keep writing out all the lists until I see a number in common. That seems like awfully hard work. Hmm. Alright, strategy number nine. Avoid hard work. How can I avoid hard work in this one? Hmm. Well, whatever this mysterious number is, I'll just write n for number. I know it's a multiple of three plus two more. We also know it's equal to a multiple of 4, uh, 3k, I believe it's 3m or something, plus 2 more. It's also a multiple of uh, 5, 3, oh, oh, ah, plus 2 more. It's also a multiple of 6, 6, oh, I don't know, s or something, plus 2 more. Ew, I don't know if that's helpful. Ugh. Oh, oh, let me stare at that. Plus 2, plus 2, plus 2. If I subtract 2 from everything, n minus 2 is a multiple of 3, and it's also a multiple of 4. It's also a multiple of 5, and it's also a multiple of 6. That's interesting. n minus 2 is a multiple of all the numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. Hmm, I bet I can figure out what n minus 2 has to be, in which case I would know what n has to be. Now that's all, oh, that's feeling good. That feels hopeful. So, what have I done here? I went through a bit fast there, but something's going on. I like this. Mull on this. See if you get somewhere with it. See if it is actually helpful in the end. And if you get somewhere, let's compare answers. Look at the essay that goes with this video, and we'll compare results. It is good stuff going on here. This, this is actually kind of neat. Love it. All right, thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more Curriculum Inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.